E I O U. Written and illustrated by Sophia Iron Correa. In a faraway land called Alphabet Tau, there is a group of letters named vowels. Vowels is composed of five children named A, E, I, O, and U. These children were friends since birth. They loved to play with one another and go to school together. But one day, something happened. It was a bright Monday morning on the Alphabet Town. I wanted to go to school together with A, E, O, and U. So she decided to fetch them. Following the routine that they are used to, A's house will be her first stop, then E's, O's, and the last stop will be U's house. On her way to A's house, I had a random thought about the routine they were used to. Why does A always comes first and U always comes last? Why do I feel bad for you? Isn't it unfair? Finally, I arrived at A's house. As they walked together, I immediately shared her thought to A. A, what do you feel about our routine? You always comes first and you always comes last. Sometimes I feel bad about it, but since we are used to it, then I think it is what it is. After the small talk, they continued to fetch everyone until they came to the last stop, Yu's house. You were here! After a minute of calling you, they were so shocked that instead of you, Mommy, you came out! You already went to school since he was getting bored waiting for you guys. After hearing what Mommy Yu told them, they decided to go and walk to school together without you. While walking, I also shared her thought to E and O, but like A, they replied the same thing. Hearing these things from her friends made I more sad. So when they arrived at school, I immediately looked for you. She asked the consonant if they have seen you, but they haven't. She then asked other letters, but they haven't seen you too. After minutes of finding you, I gave up since the bell also rang and classes are already starting. I went to their classroom. She saw that Yu's desk is vacant and he is still missing. He says game and she immediately went to A, E, and O. She asked them if they have seen you. Have you seen him? They all sadly replied, No. I can see that A, E, and O are starting to realize that O is missing and they are starting to miss him too. A broke the silence. I am sorry I for not realizing that sometimes the routine we are used to seem unfair to you. I noticed it but I haven't cared enough since I always come first and it benefits me. I should have considered you's feeling. After A told her side, E and O also told I that they felt sorry too and added that they wanted to help I in finding you. We're sorry, I. Let's find you. I replied, You don't have to say sorry to me, but rather, you should say sorry to you. From now on, let us make you feel important. Maybe we can change your routine. We can alternate, like for tomorrow. Let us make you first, then A as last. Then next, E comes first and O comes last. Like that. Then after I shared her ideas, A, E, and O smiled and agreed. During the recess period, they looked everywhere for you. Luckily, they found him sleeping and taking his time under the mango tree at the back of the school. 
Then, they waited for him to wake up. As soon as he woke up, he apologized and shared all their realizations to you. He was so shocked and happy. He didn't expect that her friends will come to realize what he kept for so long. He forgave them and told them, You are all forgiven. Thank you so much for finding me. I love you all. A E I N O reply. We love you too, you. We miss you so much. Since that day, vowels changed their routine. Love one another and live happily together forever. The end.